If you've ever tried to mix the 365 brand peanut butter with a knife or something like that, you'll know that you just make yourself a big mess and the oil gets everywhere and it's almost impossible to mix it because it's so close to the top. So I'm gonna show you how I solve that problem using power tools. Okay, here's everything you're gonna need. You're gonna need an old lid uh, that you've modified and I'll talk about how I modify that. You're gonna need some sort of whisk. I've actually found these, um, I don't know if it's a dough hook. I found these work quite well, but you can use a regular whisk, not whisk, um, beater that you would use in a standard hand, uh, hand mixer. Um, uh, some sort of drill. I've got a cordless one here, but it doesn't need to be cordless. Um, and of course your peanut butter. Now, uh, I've experimented with many different ways of making this hole. And every time I try to drill, which I've done several times, I crack the plastic and I've got quite good sharp drill bits, but it's just such cheap, thin plastic that it's very hard to do that. So I've actually found that melting it with a match or a candle works really well and it creates this kind of thick, hard um, uh, reinforcement of the plastic. Uh, now do this at your own risk. This clearly is gonna create nasty carcinogenic melted plastic. In my case, I feel like it's quite hard and on there, but as you're doing this, you could break off little pieces in there. Um, so just do that at your own risk, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your whisk or other mixing device, plunge it down in, put your lid over the top, screw it on, okay? Now, next you're gonna tighten down the chuck of your drill down onto this, like so. Now here's the last bit. I'm gonna do this from this angle, because it's, and you, uh, No fuss, no muck. All the peanut butter stays in. Little tiny bit is getting up on the top here, not much. You can kind of put your hand up here if you're afraid of a little bit of splatter. And you get all the way down to the bottom. Get all that nice peanut butter up. All the way up near the top. And then that's it. Then you just pull it all out here. It's really handy to have A little bit of mess here at the end. There you go, a little bit of peanut butter on there. Very handy to have a dog nearby to help you take care of the mess. Right, Waffles? Mmm, delicious. And finally, the mixed product. You can see it's very homogenized. When I first opened this, it was very dense, unmixed peanut butter surrounded by oil. It was a real disgusting mess. Now it's all nice and mixed together.